Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. As you can see in the corner of the inn, the Christmas tree and the revelers are no longer here. All Christmas has been packed away for another year. And if we have a look here, it finished last night. It, it, it's all done. It's all finished. The Feast of Winter Veil vale finished at 6 o'clock. Well, let's say last night. 6 o'clock this morning it was. So that is it for Christmas. Christmas is over. We are now into the new year. So just, just regular good old new year. Right. Well, that's 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 fine. Um, so what I want to do first is I just want to speak to Sid. Sid Limbardi right here. And have a look at his wares. And I want to sell some of these excess items that we have collected and picked up right here so i get rid of all those the morning glory just a hellbore bacon 11 strength that one there is stamina we'll get rid of the stamina one and then we've got some of our equipment right here that we want to get rid of this is so what we want to get rid of is the soul bound stuff that we're not actually using so like that one there that one can go we've got some peon sleep potion we've uh, it's got no um, sale price. Uh, smoked Talbuk doesn't give us anything. We've got preserved hollies, which make our mount festive. We can use those even when it's not the Feast of Winter Vale. We've got some paper zeppelins here kicking around, which we'll probably try and get rid of. Um, the Holiday Cheese Wheel restores 250 health over 20 seconds. I'm going to eat the Holiday Cheese Wheel just because. And I'm also going to eat a mince cake, uh, a, a mince pie, min mince, mince thing. Uh, we've got some Ravager stuff down here. Those are greys. We want to get rid of those. Move these up. The light feathers, even though it says crafting reagents, uh, you don't actually tend to use them very much. We've got some Ravager flesh there, which will be useful. So let me get rid you. of that a minute. Then we're going to... Let, let's go over... Let's go and sit over here, shall we? We'll, we'll sit down over here like that, and we can start eating. So we can eat the holiday cheese wheel. Because they're all oh, the Chimera Heart Pendant. That one, we want to sell that one. Uh, the Hellbore Bacon, we want to keep that one. And we've also got the Wintervale Cookies. So we'll put the Wintervale Cookie up here. And we'll also put the Hellbore Bacon up here. Those two that we're going to consume. I've got my fresh squeezed lemonade and my pineapple pizzas. Thanks to everybody that keeps being mean to me. Keep the... Uh, the there's no need for this. This constant torment. Uh, Graku's Mint Meat Fruitcake restores 5% of your health and mana, um, per second. This one here, you should also probably like the taste of fruitcake. See, this one is a quick health restore food rather than anything else, but, um, I think, I think we'll use that one. I think we'll put that one on there and we'll drop that one onto the bar down there so that we can just use that. We've got our costume for our pug, and then this is just stuff here that we want to keep. The, the drink there will... Oh, Graku's Homemade Meat Pie. We'll eat that one up. And the, the Warm Red Woolen Socks. That's the sort of stuff that I like to keep and I put in my bank so that it's out of the way. Uh, the Ritual Prayer Beads, Target, Anchorite. Oh, that one we don't need. We've, we've done that quest so that those can go. And the, the Charred Bear Kebabs, they can go. We've got one health potion there that we do want to use. Right. We've done enough of that. We, we've done all of our eating and stuff. So we go back to Sid. Be with you. I'd like to take a look at your wares again. We want to sell those. We're not going to use them. And we're not going to use that one either. The little bling. That's actually one that I wanted to keep because I wanted to... That was a gift for, for someone. For the Alliance. Uh, right. Okay. I think that's everything. I think that is everything that we want to do just for a minute. So we got the unyielding footmen and so on down over that way, over this way. And that's where we're going to go first. We're going to go and deal with the unyielding footmen. And then once we've done that, I think that is everything that we want to do in this area over here. The next bit that we want to do is we want to start heading over and doing these quests over this side. Um, and we will we'll go over there. We will do those quests over there. And then once we've done that bit, um, it'll be time to move on from here. We're level 65 already. So we, we are doing quite well, I think, with, you know, getting to level 65. We may end up reaching level um, 70 just in two zones. It is possible. I'm sure it's actually... Well, I say it's possible like I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, I'm fairly sure it's possible. 
Uh, right, you know I'm thinking it would probably be a, a good idea if I used some of these other abilities here as well. Let's, let's put these guys here going. Let's get the consecration down. Uh, I, I'm rooted now. Uh, I want to I wanna back up a little bit like that. And oh dear. Um, that is a definite oh dear. Uh, with 33. Uh, no, I'm, I'm healing up. I am healing. There, uh, I got interrupted, but I can do that one instant cast and that one, and then I can do that. I drink that um, potion there a minute. I oh, I've got a food buff. I do have a food buff. I can do this. I can do this. Look, the, the shield is like permanently going because I've got these. I had these here going. Um, the shield is is coming back at a ridiculous rate. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Just how fast it does come back through. Oh wow. And the Shield of the Righteous does a load of damage as well. That one there, that's, that's pretty good. Let's pick this lot up. I'm going to be charged. There. Right, he's he's coming. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just I'm going to finish this one off on his own. And I, I'm not going to get like too adventurous with going after any more just for a second. Uh, because I've only got three minutes left on that food buff there. Which is actually less than three minutes. So I'm just, I'm just going to stop right there a second and all stats by 7 or 11 strength. We don't want the 5 stamina and versatility just at the moment. We'll go for that one. We'll use up that one first. We'll use the lowest one first. Get that one um, to sort of feed us up a bit. Uh, restores 5,000 health. The ones that restore a set amount of health, some of them are alright, some of them are not so good. I prefer the ones like uh, that one there. Restores 5% of your health and mana per second for 20 seconds. So it will guarantee to restore you to completely full health no matter what level you are. You never out-level the Graku's Mint Meat Fruitcake. It's, you cannot out-level it. And that's a very cool thing about it. Uh, we've got a scroll of stamina right there which I can use. Uh, we've also got a new mana potion there. A health potion I should say. I'm going to put that one down. Um, so we want to keep in mind that we've got that one. I'll grab that sorcerer over there. I've got another sorcerer over there. I've got, I've actually got sorcerers everywhere down here. It's too far away. Um, go to you over there. What I need to do actually is, I'm going to need to get my shield. I'm going to need to get my shield in order to I be able to, to deal with closer. these. I'll do it like that. There. Interrupt them and then bring them all in like that. That's that's the best way to do it. I got one over there who's. Um, throwing bolts at me, which is a little bit inconvenient, but he's now run out of mana, so he's, he's come in a little bit closer. They do, I like this, I like that the spellcasters do actually seem to run out of mana fairly quickly, and they also, look, see he's on 8% there, um, so they, they run out of mana, and then they're not able to attack you much further, and then they all come running in, which is, it is really cool, it's, it's kind of nice that they do that, rather than just staying back forever and throwing things at you. Like the hunters do, if, if you get hunter mobs, that's what they do. They just stay back forever and keep throwing things at you. And it's inconvenient. It's a definite inconvenience. All right, get you over there. See, you I'm going to throw the shield at. And, and, and it's just, just going to be inconvenient for you. And I'll throw a shield at you as well. And then i got that one over there. I, I want to get him over here. So I'm going to do that to him. And then I'm going to go back over here and get these. I'll put that one down and I will do that. And then I will also do that. So I keep throwing the shields at these guys and they will eventually take some serious damage from it. Uh, I'm taking some serious damage from them. These guys are doing a lot of damage. I've only got four of them here. I'm only, it's only four on one, and, it, you know, this hardly seems fair, because some of them are unarmed. Some of them are just like, well, they are, they're unarmed. Four against one, when the four are unarmed, is not really a fair fight when I'm the one. Right? That's, that's not a fair fight. You know, you you got to give these guys a chance and give them all weapons. Because otherwise, they just, seriously, see, they, they don't stand a chance. I'm, I'm just that good, apparently. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, this is brilliant. I love being nearly invincible. This is why I like playing as a tank. A paladin tank. This is, this is the exact reason that I like playing as a paladin tank. Because you are. You're just about completely invincible. 
You run in, and I, I, I think nothing of picking up 10, 15 different mobs. Um, I mean, yes, it doesn't always work out as, as well as I'd hoped, but um, for the most part, it, it usually does. Right, if I do that, then I throw the shield at him. He'll then come running in a little bit closer to me. I'm going to get that guy over there to come running in, and I'm going to get uh, that I'm guy over, over there to come running in like that. And then we're going. We're going to deal with these. He's going to run out of it, um, mana soon, so he, he'll cut. He'll come in anyway. He's at. He's out of range of the, the, these long distance ones, and he's got. They, they've got their heal other, but I'm going to interrupt that one, and I'm going to put a shield in to do another interrupt. I'm going to heal myself up a little bit. We got the sorcerer that I can take that sorcerer out very very quickly because he doesn't have very much armor. There we go, and then you're out, and then it's just. Oh, hang on a minute. Lieutenant Commander Thalvos. He's a quest target. Uh, I didn't even realize I'd picked up a quest. This is probably why he was hitting us so hard. I didn't even realize I'd picked up a quest target here. I'm going to have to come back and kill you again. This is this is the problem with fighting ghosts. Is that you, you think you've done it. And um, yeah, you really haven't. Because they're ghosts. And then they come back again. So I need another eight unyielding footmen. They are down this way. We've got unyielding footmen coming out of our ears over here. This is perfect. This is what we want. So I'm going to throw that one over there. And I'm going to get that one over there. You know, I probably should have healed up before I started this fight. This is another one of those times where it would have been prudent to, to heal up first. Uh, but before they do... You know, I'm, I'm thinking... Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to die. Bubble. Let's, let's do some bubbles. Let's do that, and let's heal up a bit, just while they're busy attacking me like that. I am not healing very much on this. Right, let's do that, and that, and let's burn all of our cooldowns very quickly like this. Let's get the Consecrate down on the ground. Have I got... I'm going to use the big mana potion, health potion rather, there. The shield of the Righteous, and then we use that one. Am I going to do this? Am I actually going to do this? Right, don't heal other... I don't think... Healing others is... Yeah, that's, that's, that's not playing fair. I don't like you doing that. Right, that one's out. Uh, you are... Uh, oh. No, I wasn't supposed to do that. I wasn't supposed to try and loot them halfway through this. Although, we, we're doing it. We're doing it. I've, I've taken out some, some of the big ones. We, we are st we're still getting things flashing at us, which is not a good sign. But, um, yeah, it's working. Yes! And we leveled up as well! <laughs> oh, fantastic! We're we're at one hundred percent health. We're actually at one hundred. Did, did someone like sneak in a, a quick heal when we weren't looking? I don't think so. I think that was I think that was all us. I think that was us. I, th I think we're awesome. We are. Pa apparently, we're better than I thought we were. That's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Right, I want you down there. Oh, I didn't actually mean to grab the other guy. Um. There's only, there's only two of you. I, I, I need a third. I need a third. We accept that there's some ore right in front of us, so we, we'll stick with what we got right here. Unyielding Knight. He's going to try to heal somebody in a minute. I'm sure of it. No, he's not. He's, he's just going to keel over and die instead. That was pretty easy. Mind you, we only went up against three. You know, if, if you go up against six, we have a challenge. If we go up against three, it doesn't really seem to challenge us at all, does it? Not that, I, not that I'm blowing my own trumpet or anything here, but I am absolutely on fire today. I am smoking hot. Let me just grab that all there as well. I need one more unyielding footman. That is it. Then we are done. One unyielding footman. I think we can get those over this way. There's loads of um, uh, spellcasters right in the middle. There's the unyielding footman. There's one right there, uh, all the way out here on this side. There's one there on his own. Just you on your own, that's all I'm interested in. You are going to very quickly be released from your torment here. Poor, you, you, you poor bloke. I, I, look at him, look at him. This, this poor soldier still fighting on well after death should have taken him and, and offered him release, but he, he, he wasn't able to take it. Okay, Winter Vale is over. We still get to use Great Father Winter's Hearthstone. I am using this Hearthstone from now until the end of time because this is very cool. 
I get my groove on every single time. That is brilliant. That is absolutely fact. We're going to do that every time. Every time. That's what we're going to do. Where is... Oh. Hang on. No. It's, it's out there, isn't it? That's where we got to go. Out this way. We get up onto our dragon and it's down here. There's where we got to go. We grab this one down here. We, we go and speak to this person in here. And... You shoot one of those arrows at me, you and I are going to fall out. Promise you that, sunshine. Can I help you? The sons appreciate your efforts, even if few are willing to speak of the armory. The disturbances of the expedition armory continue despite your best efforts. No one truly knows what happened there, nor exactly what binds the spirits of the fallen soldiers to the ruins. Perhaps we are approaching this the wrong way. I've always assumed that each of the ghosts had a tie to the ruins, but what if their ties were to their leader? Archmage leaders. Archmage Zintor and Lieutenant Commander Thalvos were particularly close to their men. So perhaps overcoming their ghosts will come. Be the careful. Best. Well, it might work. It's worth a shot. Let's go and have a look. That great big bad Fel Reaver over there is only orange now, instead of being red. He's only four levels above us. He would still one shot us, by the way. He would still stamp on us and make us feel very squishy in our little tin suit right here um we're not taking him on we are not going uh picking a fight with him so where is that is an unyielding sorcerer that is not the dude that we're after where is the dude ah there archmage zintor you need to get closer. are the one Let's take you down oh I've got a, uh, I've got a sorcerer over there who, who thinks he's, he's a big brave dude because he can stand so far away and he can attack me. You're very brave. You're very, very brave. There, have some of that. Now what are you gonna do, huh? Now what are you gonna do? You throw another fireball at me. You're gonna regret that. I promise you, you are going to regret throwing those fireballs at me. Uh, starting around about now. Look, see how soft and squidgy you are? Your Archmage dude right here, he, he knows his stuff. He's got like a, a little shield that he's using with his magic. You ought to try doing the same, because right now you are looking pretty squidgy. Look at that. Look, my hammer will break through your cloth armor without any problems whatsoever. Your cloth armor is no match for my great hammer. Now... If I can get across here, I've got one Lieutenant Thalvos right there, Lieutenant Commander. I'm never sure if it's Lieutenant or Lieutenant. Is it Lieutenant or Lieutenant? Or is it different in different... I'm not... I've, I've got no military um, experience whatsoever. So anybody tell me, which... Where is it Lieutenant and where is it Lieutenant? Or is that actually two different things? I, I don't know, but I, I know that some of you have served in forces in various different countries. Um, so, anybody that does actually know the difference, um, well, you might know without having served in the forces. It's entirely possible that could have happened as well. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to know. Explain the difference between lieutenant and lieutenant. If anybody could, that would be very cool. You know we haven't had actually done... We can go and turn in this one here over in that broken tower. But we haven't gone into that tower there at all. We haven't even... We, have, we haven't been up there. We've been in this one. We've been up in there. That, that's a really cool, like, big castle. Uh, but we haven't been up in there. So that's where we're going to go. We're, we're going to sail. We're, we're going to fly all the way up through here. We're going to go up onto that bit. We're going to go over to here. Who are you? Caretaker Delandris. He doesn't really have anything to say. Uh, no, in here. What do we got? Reagents right there. We've got alchemy trailer, a trainer, archaeology trainer, herbalism trainer, archaeology. Hi. Hi. Level 35, artisan archaeology. We can train that. And we can train master archaeology. And we can train grandmaster archaeology. We can't go any higher than that. So you can learn oh, all of these. You. Our actual archaeology skill is somewhat limited at 23. Our fishing skill as well is also somewhat limited. Our fishing skill at the moment is... I don't want that one. I want that one. That one? No. That one. Professions. Yeah, our fishing skill. We've got 57 out of 300. It is a bit limited, isn't it? 
Um, but we, we can go and learn the other fishing skill, I think. I think we can um, learn outland fishing, so long as we've got a high enough skill. We will be doing that. We're not going to do it yet. Oh, I was going to go... No, I'm not going to bother going upstairs in there. Let's go and turn in this quest a minute. That one's over here. It's not up in the, in the garrison. It's down this way. And then after we've done this, we want to go and we want to see the Longbeards. It's going to be our next big thing that we want to do. So I wander down here and on a guard. You need something? We can only hope that with the quieting of the ghosts of the officers, the spirits of the foot soldiers will follow. Thank you once again for your help, Grundorn. So what do we got? We got Critical Strike. Well, now, we want Critical Strike. If we can't get any of the actual um, other bits, we want Critical Strike. Stamina and Crit is good, but these are all Stamina and Crit. That one's Intellect for Specialism Holy. We lose Strength on there. This one here, we gain one Critical Strike on that one. Uh, the finely wrought chain there, we gain two Critical Strike overall. We'll go with that one then. See you later. It seems to be the, the, the best one. We are now, uh, did you see that? We went green. Uh, honored with honor hold. And we want to put that one on. So we've now gained a little bit extra critical strike, which increases our parry. And increasing the parry increases a chance of the Avenger shields going through another proc. So we've done this bit here. We now want to go over and we want to see the, the long beards. I'm just going to fly back in towards honor hold. See if there's any more quests in here. I don't think there is. I think we've done everything that we want to do in here. There is no more. Oh, we'll just have a look over this to towards this one a minute. And nope, there's nothing. Right. We got nothing there. I've got 26 fell iron ore, so we would be able to level up our engineering a little bit if we wanted to. We might actually do that. Um, there was another thing I wanted to do, and that was I wanted to go to the map like that, and then I want to go to Hellfire Fortifications. I don't want to go to the map. Hellfire Fortifications there, and click on that one, and I want to abandon that one because I'm not interested in doing a PvP one. So I'll get rid of that one completely. That's gone. That's finished. And then Hellfire Ramparts, I've got that one. Speak the Advanced Scout Chadwick inside to Hellfire Ramparts. That's another one that I don't want to do, so I'm going to go there, and I'm going to abandon that one as well. There. And that'll probably put that quest up in here in a minute. Maybe not. Maybe both of them were down with that one. They could have been both down there with the warrant officer. Oh, hang on, yeah, we want to do the engineering. So we'll just pop into here. This is the last place we can go to engineering. Actually, no, I think we might better do some engineering in, in the temple. When we get over there, but we're not going to the temple yet. So let's go to this, and we want to smelt fell iron. I'll do all of that in a minute. Oh, there we go. Our outland mining has now increased to 25. We're absolutely cane in it with the outland mining. So we want now, in order to make fell iron bomb, I've got five elemental blasting powder, and I've got four handfuls of bolts. So I want four fell iron casings. Which is all I can make anyway. So I'll make four of them. Create all. And I may get a level up or two. Yeah, we've oh, we've actually got two levels up. So that's, that's taking this up to 13. 14 points right there. Then I go here and I make these four bombs here. So we've gone to 15, 16, 17, and 18. Very nice. And... We've run out now of handfuls of bombs. We, we can make some more blasting powder, but we don't actually need that. We could do a handful of bolts. Create those. And then we want some more fell iron stuff. We, we need more fell iron stuff to be able to do the rest of it. So we've got fell iron bombs there. I've actually got quite a few. We must remember to start using those. Let's go and see our trainer a minute. He may have another thing to get. Now, uh, just, just before we leave, we're at level 18 now. I don't know if there was one at 15 we could have got or not. Uh, Can I help you? Lebowski. No, 20 is the next one. And then 25, the adamantite frames. Off and away. Okay, fine. We won't do any more there. What we will do is we will go to the Longbeards. All the way over here. This this, this is our next port of call. We want to go and see the Longbeards. Uh, which way did we need to go? I think we needed to go. You kind of went up this way. And then you went up that way with them when you were uh, when you're on foot. 
And you do, you kind of, like I said, you, it, it is good to look at where you'd have done it while you were on foot, just to kind of help yourself out a little bit. Uh, I could go with this, but we've got those crossbusters everywhere around here. Oh, I might be able to sneak in and grab that really quick. The crossbusters don't make life, no, they, see, he's, he's straight up there. Straight up there causing us trouble. I was hoping to be able to sneak in and grab that ore before he turned up and he burst through the crust. The other guy there, we've got another one over there. We're, we're going to have to take down several of these in order to be able to get what we want. That was not part of the master plan. And then there's another one over there. He's going to burst through in just a second and we're going to have to take him down as well. If I back up a bit, I can get both of them to come up together. Like that. There, look. There. That's, that's better. At least I can take them both together. It's not very often you get them both to stand in the right position for this. But it did work. Sort of. Uh, one was a little bit late to the party, but at least it worked. Right. The plan was just to sneak in really quick and grab the ore and get out. I wasn't supposed to be having to do any of this. Where's it gone? What? You've got to be kidding. Someone else snuck in behind me, grabbed the ore and... Who is it? Who took it? Who took it? Okay, that's just... <laughs> yeah, that's that's about right. So we went in there just to quickly grab it. We got mugged and then somebody else stole it while we were busy fighting off our attackers. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Yes. That that uh, that sums it all up beautifully for you, doesn't it? That is That is life in an MMO. The Great Fisher. Okay, we've got the Great Fisher here. There we go. We've uncovered the Great Fisher now. We've got Falcon Watch over there. That is a hoardy place over there. We don't want to get too close to that one. Uh, we can see it over there, but we don't want to get too close. We're not interested in that one anyway. We're interested in going over here, and we want to see the Longbeards. I'm going to just creep a little bit closer to this one. I want to see what they've got. They've got this really nice-looking tower over here. I mean, this, this place does look pretty good, doesn't it? But it's all horde. Look, you can you can see all the horde stuff over it. Look at that. Who's he? Oh, okay. Let's not get too close because they they've got that skull on their name. That means that they're extremely powerful and extremely likely to hurt us. And I really don't want to be hurted. Now, where are my long beards? We've got. Uh... Oh, yes, this 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 is the Arakoa. This is going to be so much easier doing this without having to be on a non-flying mount. I've never done this on a flying mount. I've never done, never been able to do this bit on a flying mount. I've always done this on a ground mount. You, you sort of run all the way through. And it, it can be rather difficult because it takes a long time. Well met. Well met. Mirren and I are two of the very best hunters on either side of the dark portal. Stick around and you might learn a thing or two. So on a hold, sends us to deal with the Arakor, and we set up a camp here thinking, Hey, isn't this a great spot? Little did we know how close we were to the Quillfang Ravagers. They are relentless predators, and have made any sort of work on our part impossible. There's a bit of coin in it for you if you can deal with them for us. Do you feel up to it? Be good. I don't know yet. We'll find out. How'd you find us, Paladin? No matter. I imagine you were sent to give us a hand. Let's get to work then. The Arakoa are smart creatures. Smart as any gnome you ever met. They have this way with magic and a violent temper, however. Lately, they've taken to attacking honor-hold patrols, which is why we were sent here. See, Mirren and I are world-famous marksmen, we are. But foul and game are what we specialize in, not these lightning-invoking birdmen. So what do you say you give us a hand in, one of, in this one assignment? You'll find the den of Harlesh to the southeast. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground. What's on your mind? So you want to gain our trust. I don't trust many people these days. We lost one of our own not long ago to the Arakoa. It's got me a bit on edge. Tell you what, if you can prove your loyalty to Honor Hold and bring me a mug of Netherguard bitter. Yes, that sounds rather good about now. I'll have a deal to offer you then. Bernie at Netherguard Keep keeps the bitter in stock. Uh Safe travels. I gotta get him some Netherguard bitter. I'm already honoured 
or friendly with on hold. But I gotta get Netherguard bitter. Bernie at Netherguard Where? Up here. Pretty sure he it but Bernie up there. Gaining mirrors. Wait, what? Seriously? Bring in one nether guard bitter. I've got to go all the way to there in order to get him the stuff that... I don't remember having to do this quest. Honestly, I do not remember having to go all the way out there in order to be able to get that. Um, right, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do... Do I go and do... Right, I've got the Haleshi Windwalkers and Talon Guards. So I could go and do those first. They are over this way. They're out this way. Um, so if I was to take these down first, then I go in. We've got Quillfang Ravagers in here as well that we want to take down. Uh, there's some ore up this way. Okay, we'll take the Quillfang Ravagers and we'll do those bits. And then we're going to need to fly all the way across Hellfire, out through the portal back to the home world. And I'm out of range. Yeah, we've we, we got a lot of work. We got a lot of work ahead of us, so I got Skitterers there. Quillfang Ravagers. Do they count? Do the Skitterers count? I'm kind of hoping they do, because um, it's, it's going to make my life a lot easier, because uh, there's more of them. Right, let's, let's deal with these four a minute. And then I've got to decide, what do we do? I, I think if we just take down the, the guys, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with these two quests. That would be nice and quick. Uh, there's one of them, and... the. the the Skitterers do count. Okay, that's good. That's really good. And then, once we've done that... What's wrong with you? Corrosive mist. Yeah, that doesn't really seem to hurt me. Uh, ooh. Ooh, very nice. What's this? I only get, I only gain 10 haste with that. So it's not actually that good. It's, it's an okay type thing, but it's not a very good thing. Let's run down to you and just throw that at you. And then we'll wander over this way. We gather up some more. Do that, like that, just to just to accumulate you along the way. And then I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to hope that the shield, it will. It will take two of them out, like that. Excellent. There we go. And then I can pop down some of these cooldowns. Do I need... I'm, I'm not going to worry about more cooldown. I'm going to I'm gonna use one of them. I'll use one of them, and then we've, we've got the other one to use for next time. Right, your target is dead. I get that. And we can do that, and... Oh, I got more com uh, more incoming. More incoming. Go on. Uh no, 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 don't interrupt me. Don't don't do interrupts. That those are that's not very friendly. I don't know what it was. It wasn't actually an interrupt as such. I think it was more like a stun type move. Uh there's there's nine of them down. Wow, okay, I'm doing this really, really quickly. I'm awesome! I am absolutely on fire. I'll tell you what, it was the Christmas break. It was the the great it was the sorry, not the not Christmas. Um Feast of Wintervale. It was the Feast of Wintervale break. The Feast of Wintervale has given me a new edge. Graku's fruitcake obviously had something in it that has really agreed with me. And has really improved our overall performance. So I now need Haleshi Windwalkers and Haleshi Talon Guards. These are nasty critters, these are. The, these are not... Right, that's Stone Scythe Whelps. That's not what I want. Uh, Haleshi Windwalkers and Talon Guards. That's the dudes in here. In the den of Harlesh. There, yeah, Talon Guards and Windwalkers. That's the ones that we want. Right, I'm gonna grab you. And I'm gonna grab you. It's too far away. And I'm gonna grab you. Talon Guard over there. Right, do that. And then take you down. And then I got a Windwalker over there. You know what? It would probably help if I healed up a little bit. Let me go through here. Let's get another one there. And I can, we'll start taking some of these down. Look, we're working together here. We're working together. That's what we're doing. And let's bring that one down there so that he comes closer. in a little bit closer. And I'll take that one down. And I've got the Talon Guard behind me. I can heal up again there. And I'll take you down. Uh, that's good. Uh, then I go for I'm out of range. you over there. Let's just Lightning Bolt that one. And then... Um, Get you over this way. Come to Papa. Come over here. Come on. Wow. Okay, he's um he, he's hitting them hard. Let's take down the next Talon Guard right there. 
take him down and I don't have a target. Okay, whoever this guy is, he's really super powerful. Like proper super powerful. And he's he's doing some serious damage. Let me uh, there's the windwalker right there. Uh, I I need three more talent guards, that's all. I've got that's a windwalker. Right, don't take out windwalkers. We just we just want to get talent guards now. I can very quickly pick up that lot there. That is oh, I've still got more loot back this way. Let's run down. There's a talent guard up there that I want to get. That was a nice little run through. It was also quite nice that the other person was extremely powerful and was able to kill a load of things for us fast. That makes a difference. That does help. And right, so I've got a windwalker behind me. I'm going to throw that at him. And you, I'm just going to collect like that. And then I'm going to do that. And I've got a talent guard there that I'm going to pick up. And I can heal up a little bit. I'm going to use a, a healing potion like that. And let's just keep this down on the ground a minute. You over there, I'm going to do that and, and hope you will come in and speak to me. There we go. Right, why, why are you running away again? You shouldn't be. Shields. There. Throw those in like that. And heal up again. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. These, these talent... I, like, look, talent guards. I know that you've, like, really important. You're, like, uh, lieutenant-type creatures here. You, you've obviously got your hands full. Your feathers full, I should say. Um, guarding your, your camp and that. But, um... I just, I just want to talk to you and some of your buddies. That's all, right? I, I, I'm not asking much. I just want a little chat with a couple of you. There's some things that have gone missing from a camp. And some friends of mine. Um, in particular, uh, one of them has gone missing. And we're hoping that you might be able to help us out with our investigations. Um, maybe not. Right, he can't help us with our investigations. He's not talking very much anymore. I'm wondering if maybe my negotiating style is a little bit too aggressive. It could be. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying there's the possibility that my negotiating style is maybe just a teensiest fraction too aggressive. Maybe. Just just maybe. Okay, so as I've done that, we can, we can turn it in, but I don't want to turn it in yet. What I want to do now is I need to go all the way to the dark portal, but where's the nearest flight point? I think that is the nearest flight point there, and it's going to be faster to get to a flight point and then use the flight point because we're still on slow flying. Um, and flying, flight is great. The power of flight is a wonderful thing, but when your flight is as slow as ours, it's not a tickety-boo. We, we could do with it being a little smidgen faster. So if we can get that one, we can then flappy all the way over to the dark portal. We can go back through. We can fly north to Netherguard Keep. We can get the Netherguard bitter. Then we can half back to on hold. And we can rest, because obviously by that time we're going to be exhausted. We will have travelled world. We will have travelled lands on two different worlds. Not even two continents, two completely separate worlds we will have travelled the lands. Um, that's not a small feat. That, that is not a small thing to go and do. Okay, don't ever underestimate yourselves when you're doing things like this. That, that is a lot of work. There's a lot of work involved with doing stuff like that. And then we'll be able to go to, um, we'll be able to go home. Now, is there an innkeeper here? There's reagents. Uh, I don't remember if this one has an innkeeper or not. There is a, ooh, actually. There, there is an it. Caregiver, Ofra Windfury. <laughs> I forgot about her. I completely forgot about her. Caregiver, Ofra Windfury. You wish to buy? <laughs> Right, make this in your home. Your days be long and your hardships few. Yes, this is where we want Ophra Wind Fury. <laughs> oh, that is just absolutely fantastic. Right, Ophra is now our innkeeper. <laughs> oh, that is glorious. That is absolutely glorious. I love the Warm names they use sometimes. You. Okay, we're going to go to the Hellfire Peninsula be Dark well. Portal. We're going to flappy our way all the way over there. So this one now will return us to the Temple of Talhamut. We don't need to have the Hearthstone up there. We've got that one instead. Great Father Winter's Hearthstone, no less. Um, so, yeah, we don't need to be going all the way back to On a Hold and over. We can go to the Temple, and then we'll be able to flappy down, and we'll be able to carry that one on. But we need our Bitter first. So we're just going to get over to the portal get through there and then we can go up and hopefully find this beer i don't know where it is 
One thing I do miss with having the flying mounts, um, you know, there are a load of ground mounts that we don't get to use. But also, it's the routes. Like, it always felt slightly epic running up that ramp on that side of the keep. Being able to get, and that was the only way that you could get in here, was you had to run up that ramp in order to be able to get in here. Um, and you do kind of miss that. Once you're just using a flappy to get around... Um, you do kind of miss it. And also, we've got so many mounts that we do have in our collection. Hang on, we've got the adventure guide now. We've got new stuff. Sethic Halls, I think that is. I think that's the, I think that's the only new. Terra Car Forest and the Grand. That's the bad boy that I want. That's the bad boy. Blades Edge Mountains, Dragon Blight, Grizzly Hills. Oh, Grizzly Hills is my favorite zone in Northrend. It's glorious up there. Absolutely glorious. Um, but yeah, in our collections of mounts over here, we've got so many mounts that are land mounts only. And it's, it, it is kind of a shame that we don't get to ride a lot of these once you get into um, different uh, flying zones. Because, you know, we're flying around and you don't get to use those instead. And it is a bit of a shame. I, I do miss being able to use the, the ground mount sometimes. Um... But on the other hand, you also get some very cool flying mounts as well. Right. Never mind all of that. Let's go back through here. And I don't think you have to go down through the ground. So we can go there and that'll take us straight to Stormwind. Uh, there's one over there that takes to Silvermoon, but we don't want to go there. Or it might be Orgrimmar, actually. And we fly through. We go through the massive... I don't know why the portal's got to be quite as high as it is. Because most things going through are a lot smaller. I don't think... I, I don't recall seeing things that were big enough to reach the top of that actually going through here. And maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe... Oh, excuse me. Maybe I got that wrong. But, um, yeah, I don't recall seeing things that big. Once you get further on, though, this uh, we get a load of phasing happen here. And the portals change. And that portal takes you somewhere else. But we don't need to worry about that. That's not happening at the moment. We are heading back to... Now, see, this place looks very, very similar to Hellfire Peninsula. The rest of Outland does not have this same red blasted appearance. The rest of Outland... There, there is a lot of Outland that actually looks quite nice. Particularly Nagrand. I love Nagrand. I'm really looking forward to getting there. Um, Terracar Forest is quite nice. It is dark and brooding. Um... At the same time, it is it is still quite nice. Okay, we need to go over this way. You can see where our little quest is telling us. We need to go in here to get our nether guard bitter. Right. In there. All the way around here. I have come from lands far, far away goods. to get that nether guard bitter. Have this is where way. I find out that I could have actually just gone to on a hold and picked it up from the inn. I'd be bitterly disappointed if that's the case. Anyway, we're not going to on hold now. We're going to the Temple of Telhamat. We're going to do that in style. We're going to groove our way to the temple. Look at this. Look at me go. Grundorn Travolta. That's who it is. Grundorn Travolta. And there is Ophira Windfury. May I be of service? May I be of service? You may be of service. You may tell me if you have any Nether Guard bitter. You do not have any Nether Guard bitter. Okay, you're not much use. But uh, fortunately, I'm, I'm kind of pleased that she doesn't because it means that we didn't waste our time going all the way to the north. Uh, filtered Renic Waters, I'm a caps, I don't want them. Malted Feathers, now we can go. You are Bind on Equip, Bind on Equip. Soulbound, I don't want that one. So that one can go up there and we've sold everything Seek we want to sell. Right. Of the light. That is all we've got time for today. I'm not going to turn this one in. We'll wait until after we've done the quest chain over where we are. And then we'll come over here and we'll turn these quests in. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about what they may have been smoking there. I'm a little bit concerned about the substances that you have got here. Hmm. This, this, uh, this, this, this is, uh, this is questionable substances, this is. Still, never mind. Right. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.